draft time. Oh, baby. That's what I... Oh! Oh, my God, this deck. All right, maybe we don't take that. This is quite the pack, my friends. I do not think we take Iron Fog Gold Mine, by the way. So... <sighs> we're taking Bounty. It's too good not to take. I'm thinking Dimensional Portal. Red Mist Pillager is also incredible. Aghanim Sanctum is also incredible. Seder Magician, I he's very good, but I wouldn't put him on the same level. This is a crazy pack. I think you got to take Bounty Hunter, though. He's way too good. Oh, dear. This is not what we wanted. Mm, I think we just take the green for now. We could take a rookery instead of decoy. Eh, we'll probably see this again. Decoy, I like to get it early. We saw how powerful it was in the last deck. I think this is fine. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, another one. Wowee. Right, now we're getting super weak blue cards. Does anybody want me to play this? I've never successfully used this creep. It does sound hilarious, though. So we definitely want some black cards at some point. Trebuchet, I think, is fine. Trebuchet and... In draft is hilarious. You know what? We're going to try it, guys. I want to try this. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I think Ventriloquy is fine-ish. If we go blue. Foresight's great. Apprentice is great. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Another great pack. Not quite as good as the last one, but... Uh, so this is an uncommon, so I'll take it. There's no good black cards anyway. Friendly Fire is great. Intimidation, as we saw, is amazing. Divine Intervention is pretty good. Thunderstorm. I mean, uncommon. We don't see it very often. Same with Friendly Fire, but... Friendly Fire... I mean, it depends. It's the, Both are situationally good, right? This one's more consistently good because at least it kills creeps. This one, if you if you're running against like blue heroes, it's fucking useless. So I'm gonna go with thunderstorm. I do believe. Mm -mm, dimensional portal again, please. Legion standard bearer. Oh, all right. Do we actually take these? Blue is looking really strong. We could just take one and then take an apprentice since we do need black cards. We'll take the magician since we already have thunderstorm. Or yeah, we won't take remote. This is also not as uh, consistent. Hmm. We already have a fur line mantle. I mean, sure. Oh dear. Oh, call the reserves. That's not bad. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, I think we have to take blink. All right, so we got our blue hero. <laughs> we'll see how far these heroes can take us. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I think we're not going to go green. So far, blue, black for sure, obviously. Uh, we don't have any of red either, though. Hmm. I think Tower Barrage... How many trebuchets do we have? Dude, let's... Guys, can we just do like mass trebuchets? Are you guys okay with this? We could splash green. 
at some point because these are strong. But I really want to do three trebuchets. I want like eight trebuchets. Slay is also good, but again, eight trebuchets. Chat, please. Come on. We got to go trebuchets, right? Everyone's saying slay barrage. Are you sold? Trebuchet is really good. Rumusk is amazing. Arm the Rebellion. We don't really have that many creeps right now. Trebuchet all the way. Guys, what's better than a trebuchet? How about a unit that can die, but it's a trebuchet while it's alive? <laughs> uh, I mean, these are all garbage, so you might as well take it. Arcane Assault's good, but... We are going to... we are kind of pigeonholing ourselves into going two colors, I do believe. We have like nothing of red and almost nothing of green. All right, we're taking catapult. Ooh. All right, definitely taking this. We take another arcane assault. What are we arcane assaulting into? We have like nothing. We have no damage. Just coup. <coughs> Could grazing shot even? That's eh, probably fine-ish. Sure. We are really pigeonholing ourselves to two colors. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is there a point in taking this? That might not be the right move. I mean, we have to though. It's too fun. Hip fire's great. Slay's good. But incarnation of Salamene. We got to do it. We see it. We got to do it. Foresight. Iron Fog. Uh, we could have went Book of the Dead, actually. Hopefully we see that again. Uh, another dimensional portal. Holy shit. Do we go another Iron Fog or a Relentless Pursuit? Relentless Pursuit is good. I mean, our items are not super crazy, so I think Relentless Pursuit's the way to go. Ring, Payday. Is Shiva's Guard any good? It's okay. I think Signet Ring is better. Yeah, this is fine. Apotheosis Blade, huh? I mean, we're not going to put it in, but. Oh, double. Un I don't mind that at all. Oh, my God. Dimensional portal again. Jesus, this deck. This deck. If we lose, then I am just horrible. Guys, I know this is a good pack. We don't have green. We don't have red. Phase Boots is amazing. But think about the possibilities of a fourth trebuchet. What do you guys think? Normally, if we didn't have this many trebuchets, I would get phase boots. But we're going we're going trip. Everybody seems to be on board. Stop with it except for that guy. Stop with the trebuchets. Come on, buddy. We need an emote for trebuchets, I think. This is uh we're definitely not splashing anything but blue blue black. Crystal Maiden, huh? Hmm. Well, Oglody's great, and Hipfire's great. I mean, CM's not that bad, but is she that much better than Jamoy? Because we could end up with a really good blue hero, like Zeus or Luna, because we've already gotten unbelievable heroes, right? I agree that CM is better than Jamoy, but are you guys feeling it, like... Do you think that Gabe would let us go without an amazing blue hero if we continue? We got to ride the wave. We got to see what's in store for us. You know? If we lose out on CM, it's like, that's eh, okay. That's not a big deal. And we'll just play Jamoy instead. If we get OD, I'm playing OD, by the way. The worst hero in the game. All right, we got our phase boots. 
and we can go better late than never. Oh, this is getting scary, guys. What here are we going to get? Oh my god, it's the last pack, too. Is it going to be Jim? Oh, I'm, dude, I love Skywrath. This is fine with me. This is better than CM, in my opinion. So I'm not. And Glyph of Confusion, I might actually put in, believe it or not. In like a Kana lane, even though her creeps get stunned as, as she brings them in, she at least ensures that nobody's coming in. Okay, if I, I'm done regardless after this run, but if we don't get five wins, I am going to be severely disappointed in myself. This is uh, pretty redonk. All right. We'll see. We'll do the lineup later. Obviously, Skyrath's going to be like fourth or fifth. Uh, I mean, I want to see what uh, cards we have first. So, black. We don't have to put Raven Hook in, but we're going to for now. Oglody's great. Hipfire's great. Payday, sure. Ironfall Goldmine, sure. Double, unsupervised. Ugh. Apprentice, four trebuchets, Relentless Pursuit, this. 24, that's like the perfect amount. I don't think I want Oglody Catapult, guys, but we'll see. Incarnation, yes. Thunderstorm, yes. We'll come back for Glyph if we need to. At least one Call the Reserve. Seder Magician, yes. Foresight, both. Dimensional Portals, all. One Arcane Assault is probably fine. One Tower Barrage. One Ventriloquy. We're at 43. Doesn't look like Glyph is going to work out for us this time. I got to tell Abruzik that Sky is actually a decent hero. I like, I like him. All right, so what are we cutting, guys? In theory, we have too many blue cards. So let's cut some blue. We could probably cut Tower Barrage, right? It's actually really good with Skyrath, though. Eh, fuck Ventriloquy. So two cards. Could also cut some black, maybe. We're not cutting Trebuchets for the guy that wants that. We can cut Grazing Shot, and that's no big deal. Um... I think we need... Should we just cut Ravenhook? We know we're not going to get anything out of him, right? Let's have a vote in chat. Ravenhook, yes or no? Yes is keep. No is get rid of him. <clears throat> Cut incarnation. Come on, it's too fun to have. That's right, pretty... Uh, Keep for the memes, huh? All right, we're keeping it. I don't want to cut Incarnation. That's a fun one. We can do like double Mystic Flares and stuff. Call the Reserves, I guess we can cut. What are we? We have a lot of six drops. Okay. I mean, Call the Reserves is fine getting rid of just because we have uh, four dimensional portals, I suppose. Okay. Items. Definitely need the Magic Mall, Phase Boots, Blink, and Signet Ring. The rest can be basic. One, two, three. One, two. Is this fine? I mean, we should be getting more gold than this, right? Do we need more than this? The only thing I would potentially put in is like ring of Tarrasque, but it's really not that good maybe in a fur line mantle can we go a little bit more expensive with these all right let's is it a mistake to put a fur line mantle in 8 hp is pretty huge for these especially skyrath we should be doing okay on gold 
Apotheosis. No, 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 no. Come on, guys. We don't want to actually lose. Apotheosis is going to lose us the game. I refuse to put it. If it was a horn, I'd definitely put it, but that's horrendous. All right, so in terms of starting out, we have zero. We have one blue spell, so actually this is fine the way that we have it. Kana comes out first, and we can get a better idea of where we want creeps to be distributed. We have tons of dimensional portals. Okay. Ring of Tarask over Furline Mantle. Eh. I don't... I think raw HP is better than... It depends on who you're facing, I suppose. Let's see. I mean, if anything's going to be better, we have zero armor items. The shield of Basilius would be better. Because this is when we start... I mean, this is definitely the better play. All right. God be with me, dude. There's so much pressure now to get perfect run. This deck's filthy. Absolutely filthy. Oh, dear. What the fuck? Two Venomancers. And a Thuth. All right. Trade. No trade. And trade. Let's get some tracks. So do we put Assassin's Apprentice here, take him down to one? I guess that's fine. We could also just push this. What's better? We have Kana coming out. We have to think about her. Kana will probably come to this lane. So we'll chill. Order of Heroes might be issue. Why? I think it's actually a very clear cut two blue coming out of the gate. Because we only have one card that can be played by blue. Ready, sisters? Uh that's three mana. You can't run from me. So this obviously a plague word will come down and it'll kill one of these two units most likely. But a a creep will trade with with Veno. That's what we want. That's true. I didn't get any freaking trebuchets. What's the, ooh? Do you guys want a golden ticket? God, why am I feeling so... Ugh. I hate myself. Why am I doing this? All right. So we have creeps here. So I think the right play is to go here. By the way, just full disclosure, I don't play a lot of Kana. I don't play a lot of blue in general, but Kana, I rarely pick and draft all right this is good for us why did i tick it just you know because <laughs> mm. this is not great for us let's see what we get from golden ticket maybe this will save everything for us, huh? Yep, that's just what we needed. Fuck. So I can save Hipfire. He has one item, though, huh? Damn. <laughs> uh, that scratch at the back of your throat is perfectly normal. Okay. So do I hip fire Venno or Debbie? Probably Debbie because I can do this. There's no escape. Let's see if he has a no accident for Kana. Do you have it? If he plays like so venom. Oh, well that also. Alright, I think I keep Kana alive, right? For next round. That seems like a good move. 
But it is important to kill this piece of shit. I really don't want wards to be stacking up. Maybe we'll get a no accident ourselves. Oh wait, we don't have uh, <laughs> we don't even have Debbie. We have actual legit heroes. What do we have? We have uh, we have nothing. Well, we have Relentless Pursuit, in theory. Let's draw. Is this weird? I like doing this. I like forgetting about a lane early. Let's see. All right, so he's going to win third lane because I'm forgetting about it, but it's going to be very, very, very slow. We'll see if it pays off. Ooh, I did get it. Ooh. Let's collect our bounty. Okay, so dimensional portal into relentless pursuit. Can he do anything to severely punish me? Not really. So I might as well draw, I believe. What can I do for five mana? At any cost? Okay, that's very scary actually, isn't it? Okay, let's do this first then. Are you kidding me with these arrows? Jesus, man. How could you match the power of a mage of the ghastly eerie? If he has at any cost, then I... Whew. Yeah, we'll concussive shot. This thing is off cooldown constantly, feels like, so no reason not to. The only reason you don't use this is because you don't want to give up initiative. But this will actually kill him since two targets are attacking him, unless he has something. Okay. Might as well see what we get. I accept this oh. offer. Now he lives. No point in not using it though. Takes him quite low. And this trade is good. Uh, I save a short sword for Kana. And might as well just put one on Skyrath for now. This is quite annoying one two only two damaged units so i don't really have anything to play can save uh for, i mean coup for next round when veno comes in or just a mystic flare even Ooh. You can't escape my intriguing i'm actually okay with kana dying it's not that big of a deal uh I don't think Prey on the Weak, there's a point in using it. Is there? Two units? Could just payday. I'm not saving for anything huge, right? Seconds remaining. Yeah, payday's fine. If I get like phase boots, then it's pretty solid. All right. This is going to be a super slow push Into this I have that I want no part of. Beauty. OD Pixel. Hello, good sir. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, Gaben is bless blessing us today. I swear. I don't know what's going on. I do not understand. He's actually, wow, I'm surprised by this. Very, very surprised. 
Yeah, right is pretty defendable. In fact, Kana probably goes right lane now and just <laughs> puts Vesture on, right? As much as I want a coup, there is zero chance that I want to give this up, right? Uh, one, two, three, four damaged units. Um... Do I just track? If I Mystic Flare, it opens up six damage to the tower. God, what are these arrows? Holy ball sack. I have two Mystic coming. Flares, so I don't really mind. I mean, I might as well do it on Veno, though. Did you think you could beat me? Less damage this round, but I don't have to worry about Plague Wards and... <laughs> uh, Obviously, the Stonehall Cloak is going to keep him super tanky as time goes on. Mm. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I go here next round with Kana. <laughs> I have nothing to play in this lane. Mm. I will shall not be denied. Okay. Do I just kill this with creeps eventually? He has two heroes coming in. Maybe I need to... Uh... Oh, she doesn't have a sword. Maybe I need to... Put Kana first lane. Eh. It's, I don't know. Oof, so Blink Dagger and Vesture. So I can go to the first lane, Vesture, Blink. Uh, maybe I get Dimensional Portal and then Blink over. I could get Kud, though. But if I'm Vesturing, then it's not a big deal. But he has Initiative. So if I get Kud, that's pretty annoying. Mm. My specialty. <sighs> okay. I feel like this is a waste of time, though. I'm just going to come in with one blue hero and kill this lane, so... I actually don't think going here is a good idea anymore. I think we just chill. And I keep initiative right now. He has two heroes coming in, though. Could actually lose this, as disgusting as that is, with Vesture. So in theory, I could Vesture blink over now. But this is going to be the contested lane. He's defending this one. So I think holding on to this is a better idea. Now I can see what better he's going to do. I can react to where he deploys and then just end it. Oh no, not self-sabotage. It doesn't come with an animation anymore. So two prey on the weaks, guys. Can kill our tower. What is it again? Is it... Four damage? I can't even check. Okay. So... He goes mid, right? All right, we're vesturing. We are vesturing... We have Kana coming in. So we vesture PA. I suppose. We have Ku. We have the tree, tree Bouchet. Oh dear. Let's we have a lot of, we have to Vesture first though. As much as I want to cast stuff, we can't clear everything out anyway. We have to Vesture. This job makes Doesn't matter if this hero dies. Feel my That's fine. All right, 
So he's out of mana. I'm pretty sure I can just Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm kills one, two, three units. Opens it up for two, five, seven, nine. Right? I don't think he can do anything else. Uh, Prey on the weak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Obviously, that's amazing. But I'm pretty sure it's better just to kill you. It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't actually matter. I have no mercy for you. Oh, I must... I miscounted something. Okay, it did matter that I did that. It, it mattered greatly. A one-mana fucking spell that I don't think of. <laughs> uh, I think we healed a creep. Well, we trebuchet anyway. I'm just BMing him, okay? <laughs> God, strafing run. Who plays this card? I literally will never put that in my deck. I don't care what happens. Horrible card. So we short sword here or blink. I mean, short sword's better. And we heal this creep, right? Yeah, for sure. Excellent, excellent. We're doing just fine, guys. Yeah, Prey on the Weak would have been great. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, it would have died as well, so it doesn't matter. Literally does not matter that I did that. Oh, I can't finish this. Can't coo a creep. Well, what can you do? Mm. I can track myself. Definitely consideration for that. He has zero heroes coming in. So if he gives up initiative, which he probably will not, then I can... God, this guy's so fucking annoying, honestly. Dude, strafing run, the best one mana spell in the game. What do you guys think? Oh my God, this guy. This is gonna be one of those games, isn't it? It's gonna be one of those fucking games, I swear. All right. Armor's pretty good for Kana. We don't need TPs. We have a blink. Okay, so we got this, which is important here. What's the best way to do this? We could put both here. We only have one blink. Um, Mystic Flare is pretty important in this lane. The problem is I really want to blink. I want blink on Bounty. That gives me the most flexibility. So I think I just go for a coup. Hope my... Well, I, I put blink on first. Then I go for a coup. And then here I can... Uh, I can Mystic Flare. I think that's the best move. I need to equip Blink first, though. Unfortunately, I mean, Trebuchet is going to finish this off eventually. Or that. Okay, we just do that then. Yeah, there's no way we don't do this. He's going to have to annihilate just to keep me at bay. Once I equip Blink, he's going to know I'm going over here. Where's our other trebuchet? We Did we draft more trebuchets? Am I crazy? We have three more on the deck. Like, come on. All right, well, we might as well track just for fun. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I shouldn't be giving up initiative. I should be passing. Mystic Flare is six damage, these two. Oh, God, don't. Don't you dare. You motherfucker, dude. Okay. This guy has seriously the most annoying deck. So I guess I have to blink over and coup now.
One, two. I still have Prey on the Week. God, what a fucking joke, honestly. What a goddamn seconds. joke. Nope, I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, like, I know I'm playing greedy, but... Like, Christ. Incarnation? How can I get punished by Incarnation? He's just going to annihilate... Annihilation. This guy just seems to have all the answers. I won't die today. That's not going to do it, buddy. There are my tree buckets. Oh, I like all right, does it matter if any of my towers get hit? No. The weak must be stumped out. Boop. Just concede. I'm begging you. How is game one this difficult? Please. Please just concede. Are they not up for what they would like to behold? Blood calls for blood. Watch these two arrows. Okay. <laughs> I was going to be so mad. <laughs> Do you have another one? Do you have another one? This game will never end. You're getting tired, aren't you? This game will never end. Come on, buddy. <sighs> That's game one. This color blue, man. It's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be the end of me. Alright. Oh, Earthshaker, that could be a problem. That could be a major problem. I got too cocky. You'll have to try better than that. Oh, we got a trebuchet. All right, so. I was expecting more from you. Where do we want to put Assassin's Apprentice? Probably just mid. I think. Probably put Kana here. Meep map. Meep map. He could live mid if he has like. Fight through the pain or something. So we'll keep Assassin's Apprentice uh, to the side just in case. Suns fan says he hates drafting blue, always drafts blue Kappa. I know. It's because, like, how can he not draft blue when you get these cards? Bronze Legionnaire? He would have put it here already. Fight through the pain gives two armor. Ooh, do we have any improvements that I care about? No. This is one of those, I always get TP early on and then I never see it the rest of the game. So I'm really considering taking it. Remaining. This demagic and all probably makes no difference, right? Uh, so he probably thinks I'm going here. Not that I care where Earthshaker's going. He's useless. But I think I actually want to go here. Is that weird? <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Trebuchets are looked down upon by the the good players in the community, you know. But I I love it in draft. It's a lot of fun. Ooh, what do we have here? So one, two, three. I 
shall do whatever it takes. Wait, did I count that right? One, two, three, four. We can get four doggos. I think that's worth it. Uh, relentless pursuit. I don't think so. Hmm, that's a bit annoying. Okay. Oh, Earthshaker. You're in here for one reason, and one reason only. Time to go hunting. I think I relentless pursuit over here. I could just hip fire. I don't even need to move, though. I can hit fire with PA coming here. Yeah, we can just chill. All right, where are these dimensional portals at, son? I got four dimensional portals and I got four trebuchets. I would like all of them immediately. I think he puts, he might just give up on first lane and go mid. Okay. So I can kind of forget about first lane, which means I can most likely uh, relentless pursuit PA somewhere if I want. Hmm. Doesn't really matter. So relentless pursuit into arcane assault into hip fire here. Question is, where do I want our relentless pursuit to? I could go and just face up against this guy. Hope for the 50-50 here. The two damage actually makes a big difference if I don't get the 50-50. Uh, and the signet ring should go on who? He has two items. Two seconds remaining. I mean, we do this first. We don't need to equip yet. We can decide later. So now we're doing this a little differently than last game. We're not sticking to one lane. We're letting Kana kind of do her thing. Uh, next round, we can TP her out if we want. Since she's going to die eventually, but that's what we were looking for earlier. We can cast that next turn, which is nice. Keep initiative. Get hip fire on the blue hero. Although this is quite nice here. Fuck. What's better? <laughs> Probably this. I actually don't know what's better there. Genuinely. Dimensional portal. Dimensional portal might... What could he do for five mana that just fucks me up? The fact that he couldn't cast anything means he only had blue cards. Gotta be ready. Okay. So I think we track him because even if he equips something, he has to use two items to save the him, essentially. At any cost? Yeah. I'm always afraid of at any cost, even though it's a rare spell. I think I'm scarred from the last tournament that took place where that Just was, I was looking for. pretty huge. All right, so what's better to trade like this and save PA so that she can kill again? I think so. I'll make good use of this. Echo is seven. Yeah, so he'll be back for exactly that turn. Perfect. Which it, it's really... Oh, shit. Oh, this really sucks. I could TP out, actually, once he does it. Because I'm only doing 10 damage. Are you fucking... You had that the whole time. Seriously? You had that the whole god... Well, I TP out now. I just give up on this lane. I'm not going to give you a free kill. We give up initiative, but whatever. We don't have to worry about the color blue which is nice. 
this next turn. Blink Dagger is huge, but I can't afford all of it. Oh, uh, fuck me. Mystic Flare actually just kills him, huh? 15 seconds remaining. If there's no creeps. We need to get a coup for mid. I'm scared about Echo Slam next round when Earth Shaker comes in here. So this creep we're hoping does not land in front or next to uh does that matter? Actually does not matter. Fifteen seconds remaining. Oh, so Mystic Flare into Dimensional Portal, I suppose, which I maybe should have done last turn. So this only opens up six damage to the... T okay. Actually doesn't really matter that much. Uh... This only opens up for four damage now. Does it really matter? I have to assume Echo Slam's coming. So I'm going to be 10 damage short of this tower. Which isn't the end of the world. 15 seconds remaining. Death is coming for you. Maybe I quit Blink now. And if I keep initiative, I think this is the play. I try to keep initiative, although that's going to be hard to do. And I can blink out before he echo slams. Problem is he's going to want to play something right now. And he has no items. There's no way he just passes. So we're hoping he does something here. Maybe he's scared that I... Fucking intimidation, seriously. <laughs> Goddamn spell. Has he really cast only this many things? Does that seem weird to you guys? He's cast four cards. Does that seem normal? Two off. So Blink Dagger would have... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Trebuchet is fine, right? We don't care. Trebuchet finishes off. So Echo Slam in the first lane is... Only thing we're really worried about. You better be careful for coup, bro. All right, good, good. So now I probably blink. Uh, what's her face? Kana to the third lane. Just to avoid certain death. TPs look pretty good to me. And armor. Armor's going to be good if Conant lands next to uh, Bounty. Not to worry about Holy Persuasion. But <clears throat> Will I actually finish this? I have exact lethal... Oh, God. I mean, he has it, right? There's no fucking way he doesn't have it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. There's no way I can live. But if he doesn't have it, all he has to do is click this, and I can't get this tower. But I have heroes coming in. I have to assume he has it, right? I think so. <clears throat> Ooh, all right. He did have it. Is it better to die? I didn't want to TP because I have a black hero coming in, so I'm going to TP Skywrath instead. After foresighting, of course. Foresight into Iron Fog. 
Like if I did it the other way around, then I TP out Kana, then these two heroes are just stuck here, right? There's no point in doing that. My missions will only grow harder. I must be ready. I mean, in theory, we can defend this lane. Um, dimensional portal blocks everything, but if he roars, then that could help me. He can steal one of the creeps, obviously. Okay. So do I coup? I don't think so. I need dimensional portal, right? Hmm. Okay, so I just die. Maybe he'll... I could track him again, but I don't want to give up initiative because I want to get Ku off. So we'll see if he saves Chenny Boy. So we're going to have three heroes, and we have to worry about Fissure. I could really use my three trebuchets. Oh, I get the gold. Nice. His item must be like, uh... Do I go for it? I get the other TP for sure. For PA. All right. 15 seconds remaining. Ooh. Eh, fuck it. Golden ticket's fun. Let's do it. It's gonna be hard to hard to defend. We have no 80 potential here either, so he's actually in pretty decent position. We have Kana coming back, and we have dimensional, or we have our incarnation next turn. This is fucking stupid, by the way. This is actually fucking stupid. I have to coup him now. Jesus. Oh, Glody is great. So Fissure stuns both of me, so I have to coup him. I don't think there's any other course of action. I hope I don't give up a Glody or Dimensional Portal. Used to being underestimated. If I have Glody... I don't know why you were yeah, I kind of wanted that. You were a worthy opponent, and so I give the gift. Of mercy. We got two more heroes coming in. So if I can... Oh my god. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, so what can we do about this? So we don't have initiative anymore. Might as well play these. I won't be denied. It's a good thing. I'm your we can block with dimensional. We can do four damage to the tower outright. Um, might as well do extra damage here. We'll fall. save short sword for later. This is Strike just in case we can sure. somehow block. Uh, he has Chen coming in, so he can this steal Oglody. And we only have one. Um, oh my god. Should have taken... Dude, These, if Let's we got... If we just got these... Other three trebuchets, we'd be winning right now. No trebuchets here. My good. Now we get the TP again. Well, there's a couple things we can do. Hmm. Okay, that is a bit unfortunate. Incarnation can be stolen, so we can't play that. Uh, 
Oglody into Dimensional Portal. He steals Oglody. Or Oglody, and he doesn't steal anything, so I can just uh, unsupervised. I want him to steal. Well, no, I don't want him to steal this. I want him to play something else so I can just click this. Hopefully he forgets about it. And there's only two, three damaged units. It, it is lethal. Prey on the weak if I can get it off. But dimensional port is just going to be better. Yeah. Okay. So dimensional portal blocks more. It blocks one, two, an additional unit, which means I can imp uh, unsupervised, right? Let's count this again. <clears throat> One, two, three. This is three, and these are tankier, so this is just better. The dire has need of you. He has to kill something for me not to click this. Or another fucking intimidation. Yeah, okay. So... We have lost. Oh, I can't believe we lost this game. What did I do wrong this game? It was over before it began. What did I do wrong? I probably made some mistakes with Kana at some point. Um, Cause I haven't played this here that much. Five seconds remaining. Three, two. Uh, what did I do? What did I do wrong? That was a complicated yeah. game, I feel like. He had enough magic the whole time? God damn. Yeah, trebuchets. I didn't draw them. That's true. I only drew one. That would have won me the game for sure. But what, what mistakes did I actually make? I knew we were going to go like one and two with this deck. This unbelievably good deck. So the whole... I don't think there was a problem with <clears throat> Kana blinking out. Well, of course there wasn't. I just got... I got Echo Slam right away, right? I don't know. So we got Kana... Grappler, thank you for the host, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, ooh, that's a good matchup. So he started out with... I can just kill her right away, in fact. Do I want to? Yeah. The shadows will protect us. Of course. Why wouldn't you have that? Well, we can put uh, what's her face here next round and just tower Brazier back, so no big prepare. deal. For the glory of Stone Blink on Kana was a mistake, but he echo slammed right after, so I, I died in the third lane instead of the first lane. It made literally no difference. Hmm. I think this is fine. And as much as I want to dimensional portal, I do think that tower barrage is the play. Oh, you're saying I should TP. I mean, so you're saying I TP out Kana and don't TP out anybody mid. I don't know how that, like why would that enter your mind as a, as a good play, you know? I don't understand that one. I think we do this just to keep him alive. Like, the oracles so here, I, I said this last time, like, oh fuck, not paying attention. Like just because something was, it didn't, God, how do I say this the right way? Just because another not line of play would have worked better. We're gonna put, I think we trade creeps here. And we just, 
Are we track? Track and trebuchet. So we don't need to trebuchet this lane because we're going to get a ton of creeps. And I think this lane is what we're going to actually go for. Like hindsight's 2020. That's the easiest way I can say it, I guess. Like in theory, I think that was probably the correct play, but I did. It just didn't work. Does that make sense? I think I saved this for the mid lane because I have nothing else. Well, I have dimensional portal coming in, so maybe I play this now. This will trade with two creeps over time, so it'll slow down this lane. This is probably the lane I'm just going to give up pretty early. That could be another thing I'm doing. I'm making a mistake of uh, is giving up too early on these lanes. I don't know. It's tough to say. Mm. These are really good. Oof, oof, baby. That's nice. Okay. So short sword will trade favorably with this bronze legionnaire and dimensional portal in the mid lane most likely and phase boots makes me so freaking happy the only question is who do I want them on we're gonna cloak skywrath we're gonna have to put something on PA oh, this is annoying I actually have nothing else to play this round we're gonna do this for sure. And be rewarded. If I just dimensional portal here. I can take on anyone. Are you going somewhere? So PA is probably the best person to put this on. This is perfect for this task. I'm supposed to have inside knowledge. What's all coming in this week's patch? I do not have inside knowledge, but I'm excited to see what they do. Um. actually do not know what the right play is we're gonna get more creeps so this should even out but he's getting freaking kana back already the guy's still dimensional portal mid i need some sort of a presence in that lane this could be a mistake i'm not exactly sure on this one All right, so short sword, cloak, and I think I cloak bounty as well. I can use this. <clears throat> I'll protect you. Okay, so that illustrates to me that he wants to defend this lane. Coup de gras for mid or. Or if it's just Ursa, I can Mystic Flare. Well, actually, just any of them, I can Mystic Flare. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Give me some more of my dimensional portals, please. Okay. So with that play, I think I just coup de grace ze. Uh, I keep initiative and coup de grace. What's her face? Oof. I'd love to cast you right now. I'd love to cast you right now. But everything's living, so it's, I'm not in a huge rush. He has no heroes coming in. Blink is going to be off cooldown next turn. So this is fine. I'm going to be giving up a good card, unless it's the... Uh, unless it's the health salve, but... You won't feel a thing. Yeah. I'm doing a shit ton of damage now, though. Don't mess with a professional. If you can't block, it's dead next turn for sure. And then here, I mean, this is just... If you can't block, we just win. The Legion has arrived. I think... We still just win. He has no heroes coming in. So I'll have Mystic Flare for here to kill. I mean, Mystic Flare just kills him by itself. See if he has a TP. TP will be a bit annoying because his Fissure is online. This deck is a perfect run. We're one and one somehow. I'd have to go watch my 
game two again to honestly know what I did wrong. Obviously, you make mistakes every game, but... Uh, not sure if there was like one big play that I did wrong or it's just the wrong mentality on... And it's more the inexperience with Kana than anything, I think, that's that's hurting me. Mm. Hoping we get another Mystic Flare. Actually, no, we, we have Koo for mid, right? Ooh. Oh, there we go. See, this is what I want to see. So this will die. Mystic Flare kills this. And 6, 8, 10, we just win. Is absolute. This is how the games were supposed to go. <laughs> this is how they're supposed to go. What's the deal? Why can't I get these people that keep hating on trebuchets, man? These things are amazing. They're so good. And I think you have to understand in draft, there's no way to kill improvements. Nobody freaking drafts smash. They don't draft raise. They don't draft. I mean, demagicing mall is the main thing you have to worry about, and that's inconsistent at best. Trebuchets are amazing, man. Yeah, he, he put three right. That was a huge mistake, obviously. All right, we're hoping for the auto kill on Prelix. That's a big one. Yeah, Pugna is a great counter to that. You can you can Im destroy one improvement once a game. Oh, this sucks. Hmm. Well, this is at least we get a kill. Um, eh. No one will dare stand against us. I hope he doesn't have uh what's that one mana thing? Crab drop, thank you for the cheers, friends. Merry Christmas, have some charity bits, thank you. I still don't know what bits are, guys. Um I'm an old man. <laughs> I, I know it's kind of monetary something something. I, I really don't know what, what bits are. I don't get the concept. But thank you so much. Trebuchets are good and constructed too, unless you're playing against the top OP deck. Well, I mean, that's true for anything, really. You can make a lot of things work. I think I'm okay trading. We probably put Kana in that lane. Ah, this is annoying. Freaking Prelix, man. No real good Relentless Pursuit target. Each bit is a penny. Twitch takes their cut when you buy bits. So when you get 100 bits, you get the full dollar. Okay. We can probably get better Relentless Pursuit value later on. Next turn. I mean, he has gold, so he's going to equip Prelix. Prelix is really good in draft. I'm a big fan of her. We had the option of choosing her first uh, in this draft, but... You know, I'm not complaining about this. All right, well. Is there any reason not to put Kana in the first lane? She's getting blocked. That's nice. Um... Yeah. I guess we just go super, super, super wide in this lane. All right. It begins. I think Oglody goes here. So I could, I can trebuchet here. 
This is going to be a really weird play because I, I don't like... Uh, I don't like giving up lanes that Sorla's in. Maybe I don't give it up, but I can move over, I think. So I think Relentless Pursuiting on her forces her to put an item on with the trebuchet as well. And then I put down an Oglody. And we just start pushing that lane a bit. And I need this, right? I'm not afraid of war. Okay. Yeah, I could Oglody mid as well. I'm just worried about this Prelix getting out of hand. Tyreal22, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Suns fam. Whew, that cringes me out every time. But welcome, welcome, friend. Okay, so now I have a reason to leave, right? We'll put tree bucket down no first. I can't finish. Good night, power cuties. I mean, the demagicking, I need it to kill him, right? So it's it's less about killing uh, improvements. So he's gonna equip something here, but we have to force him to do it anyway. This is this is fine. Let's see what he has. Probably put Oglody here to curve in potentially. Yeah, Prey is going to be pretty gigantic here. I am unworthy of this gift. Arrow? That's my boy. That's my boy. What you got, Prelix? That is nice. What you got? Oh, God. Okay, you, you got something. You've done a great job. <clears throat> I'm scared of at any cost, but we can't be afraid of rare cards all the time. Pretty sure we just put two mid. This lane's going pretty well. Um, obviously, we don't have blue to work with with it. I think these heroes will take care of themselves for the most part. In fact, he might put a Sven here and Skywrath here. Either way, I think putting bodies mid is going to be quite helpful. Yep. So it's not six mana yet. So initiative is going to be very important. Oh my god, these arrows. Do we have any more black creeps? Assassin's Apprentice. Oh, Raven Hook for next turn. All right, well, we're doing this anyway, right? Bow, bow, bow. Please don't have something. Please. Please. Yeah, this he can redirect the arrow if he wants. That'll be an interesting dilemma for him. And when I put down unsupervised artillery, it'll be, it'll probably force him to redirect to the, the tower, right? Even if he probably would have anyway. All right, this is nice. So this is, hopefully we don't get ignited though. My game is feeling very sluggish. This is what I do when it's feeling sluggish. Turn on, turn off. And it's still not good. I need to restart my game. Oh my Allow God. me to beguile your senses. All right. Mm. So this might as well be Don't cast. So this lane is Dunzo. From the shadows I strike. We're just Anybody know how much gold this guy spent? I have no idea. Oh my god. Oh my 
God, no. How much will we have still? Oh, I'm living. That is very ballsy. Wow. There's no way that's the right move. If I had Mystic Flare, this guy gets super fucked next round, but obviously not looking great. This lane's still okay-ish. Obliterating Orb. Hmm. I don't need it for this lane because I have Demagicking Maul. But then again, I don't want to give up initiative. That eh, depends on what I get. All right, we obviously blinks better. <clears throat> Watch me get blocked by the creep. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's a good creep, isn't it? Well, I have nothing but this to play. He has six mana. He will most likely kill both of my heroes very easily because he has Mystic Flare. And maybe I save Ravenhook for this lane. 15 seconds remaining. Yeah. Uh, does shielding do anything here? It's still six damage. Five seconds remaining. Doesn't do Three, anything. Two. One. Okay. So I dimensional portal here. This ignite's not going to be that big of a deal, I don't think. I think I just chill. Obviously, armor's not going to help since it's piercing. So I'm... Oh, I could just coo, huh? I don't think I should coo. I know he's going to kill both my heroes. All I want to do is block. I could just coo him, or Sorla instead, actually. But I feel like I need these cards. A lot of these are really important. Um, he has two items. I'm pretty sure I just block here. <laughs> oh, thank God. You left me no choice. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Now I have Dimensional Portal for the first lane if I want. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, no. I can feel it's a big one. I can feel it in my bones. It's a Thunder Horse Alpha, isn't it? Don't tell me it's a Thunder Horse, please. I have something special in store for you. Mm-hmm. Very good. This is your lane now. I understand that. All right, what can he do to fuck me? I think I just Ravenhook now. It's the only thing I can... I'm just... Wondering if it's a huge item, I could destroy him. This still destroys him, it kills him. It's not so we just do it first. Just business. For fuck's sake! What did I tell you guys? Of all the games I've played, that creep has never done shit for me. Oh my god, I hate that creep. What a piece of garbage. Oh. Shield the Basilius wouldn't have made a difference. I only had, I think, 4 HP, right? God, that creep is so worthless. It's actually super worthless. So we have Blink. We can heal, so that's okay. Ugh. We're actually going to lose this game, too. This is unbelievable. It's because this Prelix spawned on the far right side of the lane, away from everybody, and I can't do anything about that. Okay, we can actually we can actually just blink out of here now. We have coup. 
Right. Can't hide from me. So it's let's heal. heal we can we, we can choose to dimensional portal or just coup. Uh <sighs> fucking raven hook. Worthless ass creep. Can't have seven health? Why can't you have seven HP? Mm. Perfect. Does do I armor now? I think I'd rather armor the bounty hunter. Well, that's quite the spawn you chose. Hmm. The reason I'm losing this game is because he's drawn both his mystic flares and I have drawn zero. I mean, coup de gras is nice and all, but against blue heroes that have that go wide. Pretty rough. Actually, I don't know what the right move is to coup or to dimensional portal. Uh, he apparently wants initiative. So he drew all three, and I haven't drawn any. Quite incredible, isn't it? All right, so what is the right play? This does not save our bounty hunter. We do have two black heroes coming in. I mean, we're doing this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter, right? All right. Do I kill Sven or do I kill Prelix? Prelix is doing a lot of chip damage. I think I have to use Ku. I don't want to lose Dimensional Portal, but is Ku really better? If I coup, it's got to be Sven, I think. Ugh, just kill me. Fifteen seconds remaining. Uh, we didn't lose anything good. Hey up. Ugh. Tough choice between Dimensional and Coup. This Prelix is uh, such a problem. I am not a fighter. I mean, go ahead, kill this worthless ass piece of garbage. Go ahead. Incarnation, the following round. I think I just need to draw cards now. My HP is not great, though. I have to draw cards. The cards are horrendous. I need... Uh, well, I don't even know if I need... Oh, these are good creeps. Oh, that's Kana, of course. How could I forget? I need... Uh, Mystic Flare so I can kill Sorla right now. That's what I need. He's going to probably have Ignite for the right lane. Double Dimensional Portal sounds pretty good. We still have no Mystic Flares, though. Double dimensional portal I can't complain about. So the good news is he has no more mystic flares because he drew them all, if you don't remember. I'm trying to dodge a TP or ignite. Ignite's pretty annoying. As much as I want a coup, we have two black heroes. We can do it next turn. I think uh, double dimensional is definitely the play. Plus, we can pop this, so a lot of damage potentially. I'm a f if I draw this, what can I like? What can he punish me with? Tear the tower down. 
Alright, he's gonna try to go for 80, I guess. It looks like we have time. I think I just put Bounty here and... Well, let's see how much damage he could potentially do. Doesn't really have that big of an 80. Hip fire, huh? Hip fire gives me six extra damage. Still two procs away. Dim dimensional portal is six more damage as well. And hip fire can be used later on if we really want. So dimensional portal is just no one can match better. This. Obviously, Kana's gonna die, so I could. I mean, we should be using this anyway, right? We're not gonna find a better opportunity. He can't do anything with her. So these creeps trade, that's nice. More damage to her. So hip fire actually is enough to kill her next turn. Or I could just do it now. Hmm. So I could do it now. But am I worried about this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not really. He doesn't have a black hero. So Dimensional Portal is obviously amazing because I'm doing six damage extra. But this is better, I think, right? No. Because she doesn't die right away and seconds remaining. I have coup for that. I think Dimensional is better. Come and serve the dying. You know this card? I'd like to draw it. <sighs> Alright, am I worried about mid? I don't think it's even humanly possible for him to win mid without a black hero. What could he do? He could incarnation into creep, 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 creep. I don't think it's possible to do it with just blue and red even. If I if I lose it this way, then I don't know. No, there's no way. There's no freaking way he can kill me mid. All right, Sven. So I can coo. Um, I mean, I can just hit. Do I have initiative? He has to keep initiative. I'll just hit my... Artillery. All right, time to spam him. Please cast something. Just make this easy on me. All right, he's dead. <sighs> Thank you, GG. If his Sorla was in mid, then he could have, I mean, depending on what he had. Actually, let's see. One disciple wasn't enough. No oath. No, he wouldn't have done it. Well, disciple plus another uh, assault ladders, maybe. Maybe. That's possible. Hmm. All right, what do we got? Another Prelix. Well, he got some squishy heroes out of the gates. Let's try to take care of that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, we don't have track, but 
that's okay. You know, they can't have everything in life. Uh, where do I want to put Kana? Second lane, probably. So let's do this. They'll never see this coming. Yeah, sniper on the flop is not the greatest. I think we will not buy anything and just pay the next round. Or we can start out with almost 20 gold right off the bat. I don't know what's better. I think this is fine. Don't let me buy anything. Doesn't matter what it is. Yes. So we payday here. Uh, Kana goes mid. This is a good blocker for Bristle. This is nice. I like it. So here we can foresight or prey in the weak if we really want. Yeah, we still paid in the last lane. Though. Nothing's stopping us. We'll see what we draw. No. That's a bit unfortunate. All right. Iron Fog, Gold Mine. Am I worried about Smash? Hmm. I'm a bit worried about Smash, but I don't want to put it in the last lane. I'm going to get greedy, play this now so that I can payday. All right, now that he shows me, can't cast it anyway. This lane, we're probably going to give up anyway. Uh, so... Prey on the weak does not save him. One, two, three. I think we just foresight here. Gracious. Okay. This is fine. Good. All right. This lane's going great. And he has very squishy heroes coming in at five mana. So we are okay with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can take another. So when we have this many short swords, we can save the magicking mall for when he actually shows us something. Oh, this sucks. Hmm. I think I just go here, right? If I die, I die. I have face boots, so I shouldn't die. I don't care what happens in this lane. I'm worried about what he puts here. Maybe this is better. Kana can take care of herself. She's a big girl. Fuck! Ugh. So he's giving me right. He's going heavy. Heavy first lane. That's surprising. So I could use a that one mana relentless pursuit potentially. Hey, look what we got. This is actually in our deck. I didn't realize. It doesn't matter. I had nothing to cast. Smash? Did you have it? I can give you the power to Oh dear. Well, oh. I don't have a blue hero coming in either, so that's really bad for me. Sometimes Mystic Flare would own this. I didn't get blink either. Okay. Not great. Not great at all. One, two, three. So dimensional portal is the only thing we can do. I could go in front of... Could phase boots. Oh my god. I think we're gonna lose this game. Just because of that first lane. So if I equip short sword, I kill this guy over two turns, right? So there's no reason not to do this. I'll make good use of this. I only have one black hero coming in. I have coup. Which isn't great. Really need Mystic Flare in that first lane, but I 
kind of fucked myself. I don't why why did he put one here? Hmm. I'm ready to fight. Eh, there's no reason not to do this. I needed this. Unless I need it for the first thing, we'll see. So pray in the week is gonna be extremely good there. And we can get lethal with a short sword and uh, we have to play both, huh? I will do my duty. Oh well. No one can survive. Gotta do it. So we got this tower first, which is great, obviously. But this first I gotta put a black hero here, unfortunately. Do I though? Hmm. Do I need to? I mean, if I go mid, I can't cast anything, right? It's just I'm either mystic flaring or I mean I have to pray on the weak, it's way too good. So my black hero is actually not doing anything. So here I can I can coo and slow this down. Obviously will not be enough to most likely stop this push outright, but so he can deal five damage to me initially. I just want to slow this down. I think this is right. Ooh. Ooh. Let's get paid, shall we? This is actually a good spot to land. Not too shabby. Yeah, tower barrage will will ruin me. Come forth, my brothers and sisters. Yeah. All right, well, he doesn't can't play anything. Um I think I'm dimensional porting here, portaling there. I make him shoot me, right? I know how to use this. We'll see if he does. Leave this to me. Problem with this is I do not want to lose this dimensional portal. The rest in Mystic Flare probably. I have these three in my hand. I need to use these. Seconds Black here only makes it worse. That's actually fine because we can only use one this round anyway. Black hero in the first lane, seven mana with assassinate is very scary. So this is about as good as we could have hoped for. Yeah, if I could do it again, I'd probably coup the sniper first, most likely. All right, so Mystic Flare. I mean, we have to pray on the weak and just hope he doesn't have it, I think. This could get punished real hard. Blood Tower Barrage? Is infinite. That's very scary. That scares me greatly. I'm gonna get double Thunder Gods next turn. And this guy's negative two armor. Holy shit. Routed. Oh, okay. That could be worse. Surprisingly, not super mad about that one. Huh. <sighs> okay. There is no war I so I need to just. I need to push this, right? Or do I save initiative? He's got no heroes coming in. I can just uh, Mystic Flare, and then I'm already doing six more damage. I think that's the play. As much as I want to cast something, I can't. If I come in with PA, I'll have six mana, which is fine. Or I can just go... M 15 seconds remaining. <sighs> Fuck me, dude. I'm just doing this. If 
Fuck initiative. You don't know who you're dealing with, do you? So we're worried about Thunder God's wrath, right? So my prey doesn't have a chance. I need to present something in this lane. Now the real question is, do I go first lane? I think I <sighs> There's no point, right? Coup de Gras, I still have, even with minus one mana. So I was thinking about going to the first lane and maybe slow him down just a tad and also perhaps force him to give up initiative, but um, there's no reason not to just stick with Ku. That could be good. Ooh. So these trebuchets are going to be nice. What the fuck is this? We're hoping he gives up initiative here. Yeah, PA is not looking too happy right now. <laughs> Three, negative two, eight. So he's looking at like how good his first Thunder God's Wrath is. He might have to, he's probably going to heal first if he can. Yeah. In which case, I will coo him instead of Mystic Flaring. We'll see what he does first. If he Thunder God's Wraths, then I'm just Mystic Flaring. Okay, so I'm just Mystic Flaring. I'm okay with damage to my tower. That's not a big deal. It's more about doing as much damage as I can. So I do this unit so that it's four cross three. Your life is forfeit. And I could blink somebody over or I can just use this for damage. That is the consideration right now. If I'm going to have a second trebuchet coming in, that's four damage plus a gloaty next round. That's eight. All I need is seven, so I can kind of chill for now, I suppose. He's got one creep. Okay. So because of this, I think I swap because I live, right? I live anyway. This is fine. I know how to use this. All I need is a, a black hero in this lane. Problem is I'm going to get assassinated. <clears throat> so we're doing this anyway. Trebuchet here. Need to outlast my prey. Now I need to think about if I need to blink. I can obtain assault for initiative again. 26 damage. He has two heroes coming in. He can assassinate, which will not kill her, but will kill her. Will kill either of them, really. I think I need to blink over. So I blink over, gain initiative again. And I heal. And I put Bounty in the first lane to potentially drop something. Because I don't need more than one, right? I'll use this to fulfill my mission. So really I'm doing this just because of assassination. That's what I'm super scared of. So I gain initiative again. Mystic Flare. So now I have several ways to win mid lane. And Bounty is definitely going to this lane. Uh, where I can just coup Sniper if, if he lands there, right? Uh, okay, so he didn't do it. So I can just chillax and put down... I'm going to be too off lethal right off the bat. Two off lethal, but do we think he can beat me now? 
unsupervised. Am I blocking enough? Just one. I can. So I play it here and then unsupervised. I don't know. It's unlikely that I can win right away. <sighs> so the other play, I could have had Bounty spawn here, right? With PA dying, I would have had eight mana and I can uh, uh, assault, Arcane Assault into a Glody and I win. But that's assuming Sniper doesn't go here and just win the game. That's what I'm afraid of. That's the reason I did this. So we do this. Problem is, I have to win this round. Wait, how much damage is he doing? 30? Maybe I... Well, we'll see. Yeah, I can't win this round. Unless he block. Well, I'm assuming he blocks me. I'm just looking at all the outs right now. So he's going to have another one, which... I mean... Doesn't do anything, right? Assassination. Assassination on me. Hmm. I can't do anything about assassinate. Five seconds remaining. But that's all he can do. All I need is two damage. I think I should be okay. Unless he's got something fucking crazy. Annihilation now. <laughs> So unsupervised artillery is not going to work because this one creep is blocked. And I want to potentially show that I still have a play. Swapping PA doesn't matter. I just need two damage. Might as well preserve phase boots in case something else happens. I don't know. I don't know what could happen, though, for eight mana. That should be it. GG. God damn. I must be real shit with blue for these games to be this difficult. All right, one more. Did we lose our first or second match? I think it was second, right? Never drafting this again. Never again. Oh, Glody Vandal has been super MVP, you know? Double Debbie. All right. Well, this is the last game either way. Then I'm going to play some, some Battlefield, I think. Okay. Oh, look at... Whew, baby. All right. So, Kana will... I don't want Kana to come to this lane. I'll, oh, God. But this lane sucks, too. Hmm. Is this a Kana in the last lane kind of deal? It might be, guys. So Trebuchet is in another lane. We'll go here. I need to outlast my prey. The Oracle sealed your reason I say that is because uh, Enchantress against Enchantress is pretty good against uh, against Kana. I don't need any more creeps there. We got Kana coming right. Makes a sisterhood cry. I think this is my blade always finds its mark. It's good to have friends in Rev Town. Rev Town, you say. Yeah. Give me a cloak. Is this the right play? I don't think going in front of Bristles ever the right one. So and maybe it is because I do have Fountain Flask. So next, nah, nah. I think we take our double trebuchets, go for mid, go for third lane. This lane's kind of the wash. We'll see how this matchup goes.
Dimensional portal is pretty good, I hear. I got nothing to play here. All right, hopefully no creep to block. If I can get this 11 damage, I feel very comfortable. Um, short sword kills him. All things considered equal. All right, that makes me feel much better. I kind of want a dimensional portal here, but let's just do this. Come to my army. You got a cloak. I'll tear it down. You're gonna have to equip it. You can't stop the dire. Great. Okay. Need to stay safe. Now, I don't know why people shit on trebuchets. I legitimately like them. I'm not saying it's good for constructed, because constructed are gonna have tons of demagicking malls and all that good stuff. These creeps don't help us at all. I think we might be suiciding Skyrath, but it is for the betterment of the team. You can get three prey on the weeks. I think this is fine. Wow, he's actually defending Kana. I would like to get my one mana black spell, please. Oh, this is actually going to be okay. So I can see... Uh, Skyrath did not do a good job of spawning. Maybe I overcommitted to this lane. I'll do what I can. Yeah. So the last lane is going to be where it's at. So PA dying might be okay. So in theory, let's see. I got one, two, three units, or I probably try for this. Tower Barrage is pretty damn good here. At least we trade if he doesn't equip anything, and I take this tower. I mean, him being in this lane is going to be a waste, so this is all, this is all right. Mana 5 tower kill. Can't complain. This is kind of an issue, though, that I have nothing to cast. I love this fight. That's also scary. Is it worth casting something? Or this, I mean. Just two units. All the units are dying, so... This looks weird, but maybe this is right. <laughs> Nothing's going to be damaged, that's what I'm saying. Other than the same units as before. Mm. I really wanted to blink. So n <clears throat> next turn, I think I'm going to surprise him and put both my heroes in the first lane. PA is a great matchup. Uh, Mystic Flare kills... Enchantress, if she's by herself, obviously. And I have Ku anyway. Um, Let me help. He's going hardcore into that in the last lane. These. I wish there was a better way. They won't escape me. I don't think I care about Bristle at all. In fact, I want these guys to just die already. If I can get it. Okay, that helps me. Thank you so much. And it's going to be a big bristle back, but he's kind of worthless. Okay, so Mystic Flare kills him, kills... Does not kill him. So we just go for the black. Eight mana, though. We're more scared of, <coughs> of green. But, again, he wasn't going to die. So 
Oh. With me at your side, you will not right, know might as well do this. We're winning all three. We're going to be winning all three lanes, I think. This will do nicely. So we are hoping that no creeps spawn here. So we can just start taking this over. Uh, no. Wow, he is heavily committed. I'm hope well, Mystic Flare doesn't do anything now, so Coup de Grasse is really the only thing. Or is it? Oh, it is. You won't feel a thing. Keep forgetting that this item exists for some reason. this well six armor bristle back incoming this will do nicely do i kill him i have nothing to cast here do i kill i just payday right is it possible I'm not respecting this enough? It's going to be a six armor bristleback all by himself. I can always come back with a black here to coup. My task awaits. I'm just going to go with my gut and say that he's worthless here. <clears throat> I mean, that does look scary, but I don't know. I must find a worthy convert. So he's going to take over some useless unit. All right. That is a problem. Join me. Now I'm scared. I should have taken Slay instead of Trebuchet. Chat. I should have done it. This will come in handy. Oh. oh my god, are we gonna lose? Oh, we can lose that tower, right? Hmm. He has one black hero coming. I kind of want to draw a card, but phase boots are too good. So I don't... Are you kidding me with these creeps, dude? Two creeps? Dimensional portal is not going to be there. Yet. Fuck, dude. This is bad. Now I'm stuck here. <laughs> oh, God. The, the tables have been turned. I don't think there's any way I can defend this last lane, right? There's absolutely no way I can defend it. I just need to push these lanes. Oh God. Oh God, chat. What have I done? I didn't respect the bristle back. What are they? Oh my God, these air, ooh. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay, this has to happen, right? You should have stayed home. I think I fucked myself. Dimensional portal does block a lot of damage. Fifteen seconds remaining. No one will dare stand against us. But I can push here as well. And I'm 
I'm just going to go with my gut. Probably not a good thing, but... Leave the tower to me. I needed this for the job. The sooner they're dead, the sooner I get paid. This will help me on my mission. Hmm, we'll see. He'll put Ench there, but... I need him not to be able to finish this tower right now, essentially. Incarnation of Salamene. Okay. So that means he can't finish here? Ready to get to work. Oh. Did I just lose? I think I just lost. I lost to a Claymore. He's gonna, I mean, he's blocked pretty hard right now, but he's gonna add four more damage to the tower directly. Oh my God. The anticipation. I mean, I know I'm gonna lose. I'll give my life for the rebellion. Okay, he's blocking damage. That's uh, he might have more creeps though. He just needs He needs a 4 damage creep, right? Am I doing math right? No, he doesn't have it. These arrows saved me. You're a dead man. He has an Oh god, he has another one. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, how do I lose like this? Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh, I need to see this guy's deck. I didn't respect the bristleback. Yeah, this guy's deck is it's okay. It's not that great. I, I guess I just played worse. Jesus. Oh, I could have healing salve the creep. That's true. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I had lost for sure. That's true. I actually literally would have won the game if I salved the creep. Oh my God, chat. Why do you guys let me go past eight hours playing this game? You know, I can't make decisions this late. Hmm. I don't 100% win, but probably win. Oof. Put Bounty in the right lane, coup the quorum. You can't coup the quorum. You can't... Uh, I could coup a hero, which still would have been better what I, than what I did. Uh, yeah, I think that's just my misplays. I should have won that game for sure. Oh, well. It happens. Another not perfect run in draft. I'm averaging like four wins. Hey. I get my third at any... Wait, what? I thought I had three. I just bought one. Now I need to investigate. Um, why are none of my cards showing? Okay. I literally just bought this card to make it three. How do I not have three? All right, anyway. All right, I'm cutting the VOD. I don't know if I'm going to use this because uh, it was pretty entertaining. I, I think you can learn a lot from uh, some of the misplays that were made for sure. Kana is a hero I never get in draft, so I don't really get much practice because God knows I don't play blue and constructed. So uh, thanks for watching the VOD. If you're watching on stream, then stay tuned. We'll be right back. But again, thanks for watching. Suns fan, I'm going to cry myself to sleep.